Hi my little hi people, hi people, hi whoever you are. So today you might not recognise this setting, in fact you won't recognise this setting because I'm in my brother's room. Yes, we love that. Um, I'm in Tristan's room because at the moment my room is being redecorated. Hello, it's 12am, um, 35th September when I'm cutting in. But basically, if you wonder why I'm whispering, it's because... Why the hell was I whispering? So, yeah, um, my voice is like really soft and gentle in this and I'm like, why? Like I'm whispering kind of now because it's like 12 in the morning. Why was I whispering then? What? Um, did actually sneeze, but I need to sneeze. Anyways, um, it is 43 minutes past 11 at night, and I have hay fever, if you can't tell by my really irritated eyes and stuffy nose. And itchy ears, so I keep going at that because I'm really itchy. I'm sorry, but like I literally, no joke, look like a zombie. Like I'm, I look so tired. I look so done, and I know I was hit pretty hard with the hay fever at that time. So my eyes were very, very puffy. But like, regardless of all that, I look bloody knackered. I look like I need to go to bloody bed. Go to sleep, Madeline. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just in this room for now, um, because my room is being, like, redecorated, which is really fun and exciting, I guess. So, that's good. Um, you are literally talking like this. You are not engaging at all. You sound like you're about to go into shutdown mode. Nobody takes an interest if you talk in just one monotone. They're all just going to click off in two seconds. Why did I think that was a good idea? I'm literally making the videos I said I wouldn't make. Where I just sit there and be all depressing as hell. Wow, life sucks. Relatable. Reprogramming. Beep. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I'm sorry for any sniffling. I'm just full of hay fever. It has been worse than this. Like, I go throughout the day, it like, fluctuates how bad my hay fever is. But, um, yeah. Wait, guys, was that enthusiasm? Um, yeah. What, what? Surely not. Surely not. Wait. Enthusiasm? Oh, fuck, it was just a voice crack. You like the background? It's the wallpaper that my brother has. Um, yeah, I'm staying in here um, until my room is done, and then obviously I'm moving back into my room. Um, so that's fun. Um, obviously, because Tristan's only three, he normally sleeps with my mum anyways, because, like, no three-year-old wants to be alone, you know? But, like, yeah, I've just been hanging out in this room. Um, I did have this fruit shoot when it was really cold and I was pressing it onto my eyes because they were really sore. And then I drank it. <laughs> Two in one. Um, but yeah. That is not a two-in-one. A two-in-one is like shampoo and conditioner. Or like, I don't know, crackers and cheese in a packet together. I don't know, I'm trying to think of another two-in-one thing. It's not, it's not pressing fruit shoot bottles to your eyes. That is not the second use of the product. The people weren't sat in the meeting like, 
Yes, see, you can drink the fruit shoot, but also maybe, maybe just one day an 18 year old will press our product to her swollen eyelids. Yes, that is definitely the second use. Write that down, write that down, Gerald, write that down. I just want to make a quick video to be like, I am here, I'm okay. I am just moved rooms for the moment. And I've been moved rooms for about like two, three days, I think. Two days, three days, um, while my room gets done. Um, but anyways, um, can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, sorry, don't mind me just being bored out of my mind. Oh, you too? <laughs> High five! Subscribe to Crimes with Alchemist Madness. I'm Amanda Leatherman, didn't I? Never say that. I messed up my outro. One second, I'm gonna redo it. Um, subscribe to Crimes with Alchemist Madness. I'm Amanda Leatherman, didn't I? Never say that. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs> Have a lovely day, people. Hope you're all staying safe and stuffs. Wow, that was painful, wasn't it? Jesus Christ, I was actually, I actually made that video potentially thinking I would post that. Well, past Maddie, you did post it, but you're posting it with you roasting yourself. Good job for making such crappy content so we can destroy it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um, just a quick thing I want to say. I hope you guys are liking this kind of style. I wanted to try it out because I was going to make it a compilation of like unused videos so the footage wouldn't go to waste and then I was watching it and I was like oh my god this isn't even worth compilation standards and then I realised it is worth roasting standards so hope you're enjoying it because I'm really enjoying being mean to myself also this is me by the way like I know that weird like human the the robot in the video yeah that's me i know i know i'm not always like help me i have hay fever two and one products no that's me <laughs> and um yeah hope you're enjoying the video so far would you look at that it's a miracle my hair isn't a bum for once also why am i panic at the disco t-shirt very scruffy human wearing my fitbit as always hardly ever not wearing my fitbit my hair is a mess like it's so scraggly anyways hello hey guys welcome to the mad lad london channel today we're going to complain about our appearance for the first two minutes whilst looking eight years younger than our actual age haha -ha! enjoy content Hi models, how you behind you? Hi whoever you are. My hair isn't in a bun, but it looks awful. Oh my god, maybe I should have put it in a bun. Anyways, look what I got. Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? Punch in the head. Can you guess? 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 Can you guess what I got? Guys, I feel like happy at the moment. Because, guess what I got? I should have said concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Foreshadowing, because I remember what happens. I got a boo! What? No way! I thought you got a new ridiculous scrunchie! Oh wait, no. That was you when you were 15. Why are you still wearing it? <laughs> I feel like a dog. Oh, that's rather fitting, because you look like one too. Why don't you go play fetch? Honestly, wait. Can you do it? <laughs> oh my god, guys! <laughs> and I wonder why my laptop's breaking now. Jesus Christ. This is a tennis ball, and I just got it, like, five minutes ago. And today is the 13th of May, 2020. This is an 18 year old. This is me. This is, this is the worst thing. This is me 
as an 18 year old. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. I'm gonna end up knocking the light out. Wait for it. Higher. Oh no. I have a ball. Does it squeak? Sometimes it will squeak. I think those are the ones for dogs though. Oh, the way I got excited. Oh my god. No, it doesn't squeak. It's a bit squishy though. Squish, squish, squish. Anyways, um, I'm really excited because if I had two, then I could do that thing where you throw one up and you catch them and you switch hands. I mean, I used to get okay at it, like, I practiced. And if you practice, then you can get better and your coordination can improve. No! Keep it there, keep it there. Oh, I knew it in my face. I was bouncing it against my wall, which I shouldn't do, but that aside, I was bouncing it against my wall and trying to catch it. They kept going into me like. Anyways, I'm excited. Um. Ah! And then it went into my face. That's why I screamed. Um. Look at me go. Look at me go. Did you see that? Ah! Wait. Did you see it? Yeah. My mum's gonna kill me. <laughs> She's gonna like, stop it! <laughs> Anyways. Oh, no! Can't let it touch the floor. Guys, this is what lockdown does to you. Who am I kidding? If I got a ball outside of lockdown, I'd still be like this. What am I doing? What? What? Honestly, I'm looking at this video and I'm like... If I don't catch this ball... Right, finally, something interesting. If you don't catch this ball, you'll... I don't know, wait, let me guess. Drink hot sauce. Or, um, let's see what other challenges the YouTubers do. You'll put a bunch of marshmallows in your mouth. Or you'll have to yell a word outside. No, go ahead, tell us. What is your amazing forfeit? I will, um... What can the forfeit be? If I don't catch this ball, I... Um... I don't know. Oh my god, and here I thought you were going to disappoint us. I mean, truly extraordinary. I'm, no one's ever thought of that before. Yes, while well, all the other YouTubers are making content, you've gone outside of the box entirely. You're not making any at all. I mean, it's, it's genius. It's unheard of. It's... Hats off to you. Hats off to you. Really breaking the YouTube game there. I don't know. I wanted a forfeit to make it more interesting, but like, I don't know. I have no idea. I have a brilliant forfeit. It's, it's, it's amazing. How about if you don't catch the ball, you delete your channel? Alright, I have a question for you guys. Goody, let's hear it then. So you know what I'm on about when... Right, so you have two tennis balls. And you throw one up in the air, and you throw the other one up in the air, and they have to switch, and you have to catch them both at the same time. So let's see here, uh, you have one ball and another ball, but you, you throw that ball up into the air, and the other ball up into the air, and they switch, in, and they catch them in separate hands. I, I know this one. I know this one. I studied it very hard at GCSEs. Hmm. Tennis. Tennis. Obviously I only have one so I can't do it, but it'd be like, imagine there's another ball in my hand, you throw it up it. Oh. Hey, so you know the beginning when you were asking everyone what you got, and I said, a punch in the face? Technically, I'm clever, okay, it's clever, okay, let me have it, okay? Shh. <laughs> you don't break your nose. Ow. 
いと言ってさ。<笑> That hurt a lot. <笑> okay, you don't break your nose. <笑> you throw. It's good. Right, guys. My ceiling, I don't know if you can tell, is triangular kind of. So it bounced up, hit the wall, and then came back into my nose. Oh, my nose hurts. Okay, you don't break your nose. Right, so you basically don't learn your lesson and throw the ball at the triangular ceiling again? Yay! You throw, go step back, because that, that is the ceiling of death, but anyways. So, you throw the ball up in the air, and imagine I have another ball, and then you have to switch. The other ball goes into this hand, and this ball goes into the other hand. So, this ball, and then imagine I have another ball, you throw both the balls, and this one will land in this hand, and the other ball will land in that hand, and then you keep switching them. And then if you're really clever, You would add a third ball, and then a fourth ball, and then a fifth ball, and then a sixth ball, and then a seventh ball, and an eighth ball, and a nine ball. And maybe somewhere in all of this you would realise that the word you're looking for all along is juggling. And ten ball, and eleven ball, and twelve ball, and thirteen ball, and fourteen ball, and fifteen ball. And did you just forget how to count? In twelve ball, and thirteen ball? And 14 boy and 15 boy boy <laughs> I'm tired okay my excuse is it's almost two in the morning her excuse is I don't know how is that me but anyways I went and 12 ball and 14 ball and 15 ball where's 13 in all this am I okay 16 ball and 17 ball and 18 ball and then that's what you call juggling <laughs> Okay, we finally found the word. Where? Wait. What? Why does it take till 16? I don't think anyone can like juggle 16 balls. Maybe they can. Let me know. Is it possible to juggle 16 balls? 17 balls? 18 balls? 19 balls? 20 balls? 1000 balls? No. <laughs> um. Let me know if it's possible. Probably is. Not 1000, but like. High amount. Oh my god, you know those people that can like juggle swords? Oh my god, just even more like. You know the ones that like they like can like eat the sword? How do they do that and like slice their insides open? Like, well, Maddie dear, it's this little thing called practice. I know it's something you're not very familiar with and like patience and um, well, what's the magic word? Training and Talent. Yeah, I know you've probably never heard of all of those things, but talent is a big one. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I sure have lost a lot of faith in myself making this video. However, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of fun to edit. And I just want to note that this is all fun games. I'm making fun of myself. That does not give you permission to go into the comments and be a little gremlin, okay? This is all laughs and jokes, and if you take it seriously, I feel sorry for you. Because I'm having a laugh, and I'm laughing at myself, and I'm trying to put a smile on your face. So, um, I hope I did that. And if any of you guys want to be mean about me, honestly... I've already beat you to it, so just a bit lame now, isn't it? Anyways, so <laughs> I'm feeling emotionally drained after I'm mentally drained after reliving those videos of me being questionable. So I'm gonna let Pass Maddie do the honors. Pass Maddie, you wanna say the outro? Um Subscribe to Come Madness, join our quest of madness. I'm Madeline London. I say that. And until next time, goodbye. Have a lovely day. And also, I think I've hurt my nose because <laughs> it hurts. Like my, my nose is still like kind of throbbing. Anyways, goodbye.